You ever watch the TV show Gunsmoke or see a movie like uh, Wyatt Earp? Or if you're older, Henry Fonda in the Oxbow incident. Look, I love Westerns, rarely good history, usually great morality plays. The bad guy gets what's coming to him, the good one saves the innocent or uninformed, or at least tries to do the right thing. Most go something like that, but in a lot of them, well, in a lot of them, there comes a point in which half-baked gossip spreads like a prairie fire through the good townspeople, and then in an instant, they are transformed from law abiders to a torch-bearing, misinformed lynch mob. Nice mob you got here. I said we want Tommy O'Rourke! Yeah! 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 It's set for disappointment, because you're not going to get him. If we're lucky, our hero convinces them through moral persuasion or with a Colt revolver that justice requires patience and reason and reflection. In some ways, that is politics on social media today, unfortunately, without that virtuous intervener. From the left and the right, people spew hatred and often half-truths, firing verbal projectiles at anyone with whom they not just disagree, but hope to eradicate from the face of the earth. And perhaps you notice the more vitriolic their language, the more they sound just like those loudmouths leading those cinema lynch mobs. Aren't you even going to tell us what we're accused of? Rustling. Ever hear of it? Rustling. And murder. Facebook, Twitter, all social media have great potential to inform or incite, inspire or agitate. The thing to remember when using them, they're full of people with plenty to say, but without facts and reason or reflection, very little of it worth hearing. Add your thoughts on Facebook. Look for WFAA.